Welcome fellow clans and Clash of fans. It is your host Geladon, and yes, it's true, I have a reputation for having quite a few unusual, seemingly impossible accounts in the game. And yes, it's also true, I plan on having the very first and only Town Hall 17 base in the game that has no heroes. Now, I own those heroes, as you can see right here in an earlier clip of what used to be called Galadon 15.0, very supportively using creator code Galadon before wasting, I mean, investing $50 into this account so that I could get all of the required buildings at Town Hall 15 before going to Town Hall 16. So fast forward just a bit, I fully maxed out the Town Hall 15 at five stars and was ready to go to Town Hall 16. Now I will also address the unplaced items issue in this account as well and tell you a little bit more about that and also show you what it looks like when you have about 100 unplaced items. That's coming up in just a couple of minutes. But for now, yes, despite the strong, shocking reaction of the villager, we are going to Town Hall 16 on this account in preparation for Town Hall 17, which is going to be a huge undertaking. If you don't already see the hurdles, I will explain that in just a moment. It shouldn't be impossible, but it's going to be improbable, and it's going to take a lot of work and possibly an investment of time and money to get this account prepared to go the next level. That's right, probably around the end of the year, looking for that Town Hall 17 release. And as of right now, this was the very first if not only, often imitated, never duplicated, Town Hall 16 with no heroes. So yeah, we have to go out and advertise this to all comers and visitors, right? So we did, we set it up, spelled it out as plain as we possibly could, let everybody know that this is it. Town Hall 16, no heroes, soon to be Town Hall 17, but that, well, okay, that's going to require two name changes because we are now Galadon 15 point, huh? And we need to change that to 16 point, huh? In the meantime, you can see right here, I just picked up another unplaced item. Now, I'm not going for the most unplaced items because I found, although this was the first account to go crazy with that and cause the game to crash, this is an example in the developer build of what it looks like if you have an insane number of unplaced items. Now, this is not impossible to do in Clash. It would just take a long time, a huge investment in time and money, and for what reason? Really, as as you can see, nothing really results of it anymore. It used to break the game back when Galadon first started doing it, but yes, the Clash team fixed it for me and then the other imitators that came along afterwards. Okay, so let's talk about this Town Hall 16 account. Galadon 15 point, huh? Needs to change its name well, before Town Hall 17, we need to be Galadon 16 point, huh? And that's going to cost 2,000 gems that we don't have. Now, we recklessly spent 50 bucks at the beginning of the video, but we're not going to do that right now. No, we're going to save money. We're going to very patiently, calmly, collectively, and well planned out using a strategy to... Now, look away if flashing bright lights disturbs you for about 10 seconds, because... I'm about to get from 400 gems to 2,000 gems simply by selling all of the potions and books and runes that I had accumulated. No, don't worry, I did not sell the runes of Dark Elixir. That would even be too painful for me. But now, we are just seven gems short of having enough. So we had to go out and get the training potions from the free side of the gold pass so that we could sell one so that there, we could get above 2,000 gems and now, we can for free rename our accounts to Galadon 16 point, huh? Before we go on uh, for 2,500 gems in a few more months and rename it to hopefully Galadon 17 point, huh? I know I'm mispronouncing that. It's 17 point, huh? So there's 16 point, huh? And we're all set. So now, of course, in the meantime, before we can get to Town Hall 17, this is the huge hurdle. We need to have all of the required buildings for Town Hall 16, which of course includes the Ricochet Cannons and the Multi-Archer Towers, which, yes, does come with a requirement of all of these eight defenses being upgraded to level 21. That is going to be a pain, right? We need to upgrade our gold storages, elixir storages to get the gold storages higher, and it's just going to be a long process, so stick around follow along, stay subscribed, stay notified, and I will occasionally update you on the journey 
to the very first and only Town Hall 17 with no heroes. In the meantime, Galafam, thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of this brief episode. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week one, thing to be kind to other people, animals, and the planets, and I hope to see every last one of you bring a friend coming back again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galagon, congratulations on one more count. That is an absolute and complete waste of time and money. Hmm.